Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of GG. This one's going to be a little difficult for me. Um, <laughs> I brought an old friend, old co-worker. His name's Steve. How are you doing today? Hey, how's it going? It's good, man. Um, but obviously, like I said, it's going to be a little hard today because it's going to be a really big debate considering the fact that he thinks that the question is why PC is still the greatest platform to play games on and why. And obviously, I'm almost 100% against that. So before I even say anything, I'll let St Steve go ahead and defend yourself. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll start with the game library. I have every game I've ever purchased on my computer. And what is it? Th thousands of dollars worth of games that I don't have to port to a new system? They're just there whenever I want to play them. Uh, okay, well, I can do that on consoles. Well, you, That's not you, even an issue. If I, like myself, I'm a collector, so I have all my hard copies. And then if I want anything digital, I can easily get that. Especially now, you have PlayStation Now. You can play all your games. Or with the Xbox Game Pass. You can play any game you want. And that's like a small fee. Yes, you have to... It's a monthly fee, but it's not like it's astronomical. It's cheaper than Netflix. I think. But it's, it's like not every game. game. No, it's not every game, because they're only going to put the games that are popular. Why would you put games that suck on something like Xbox Game Pass or PlayStation Now when you know that, like, hey, no one's going to play this game because this game is absolute garbage? I wouldn't want that game. There's still people that are fans of unpopular games. I understand you can have a cult following for a bad game, but there's no need to have all your games if, all your, if, if some of your games are just trash. Like, that's how I feel. Unless that game is, like, means something to you. Um, like, I keep... I have an old copy of Shaq Fu on the Genesis because when I was a kid, my dad gave me the Genesis. Uh, me and my... It was for the whole family, really. And we got Shaq Fu because it was cheap. He was, like, $5. And, he, and they were like, all right, cool. And it was the worst fighting game I've ever played. Yeah, Shaq Fu so is dope, nostalgic. Though. Yeah, and it, it means something to me. But that's the only reason I have it. You know, I'm not going to have, like, a garbage game that I know is trash and has no nostalgic factor. I'm just like... This is stupid. But you can't play that on your PlayStation. Why would I want to? It's but gonna look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I I recently played SimCity 2000 on my computer just for nostalgia wow, that's reasons. Old. Wow. Okay. Yeah, and, I, and it and it runs just fine. Um, I didn't have to do anything because I already had it installed. I just double click. Yeah, it. it's because it's still from PC to PC. It's not like it's going from PS4 to well, Nintendo. I guess I should clarify. I, I, I had to run a DOS emulator to get it to run. Yeah, DOS box or whatever. Yeah, but I yeah. didn't have to move. I didn't have to move anything around. It was, you know, okay. it's all in the same box. All right. So give me another point as to why you think PC is so much better besides this games library. How much? How much do those controllers cost for console? Ah, uh, God. Okay, this one I might agree with you on controllers. I just had to buy two yesterday because I was getting pissed off the D-pad was dead. Like when your keyboard is done pushing it, I was like, I gotta get a new one. So they're sixty bucks a pop. Yeah. Yep. So I bought, a, bought two yet two the other and day. The, the pro the pro controllers are like over a hundred, aren't they? Uh, depending on who, I think the like the Xbox one is like two hundred dollars. The oh PlayStation one's like a hundred and fifty. Like yeah, they're 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 pretty up there. You can get up there with PC peripherals, but you know, like I I bought this Logitech G six hundred two. It is wireless, but it's got that that zero lag wireless technology in it. It's twenty okay. bucks. Well, that, okay, yeah, like I said, I, I have to agree with you on that. Because even like a keyboard, a keyboard's a keyboard. You know, it's just a, either with or without all your fancy colors yeah. you got now. I like don't want to agree with you because my fans will hate me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're right. Man. A keyboard it's is 30 a bucks for a keyboard, dude. My keyboard was $180. You paid $180 for some colors in your for backlighting. Like, that's ridiculous. It <laughs> wasn't just for the backlighting. Yeah, yeah, backlighting, and you got, like, your your WASD's got, like, different color on it. Like I, I was also an early adopter for this this style of mechanical keyboard. Oh, okay. So you were so endorsing I, something. So I paid a premium to have it first, you know. Oh, so you paid a premium to get the same thing everybody else has with colors, right? Yeah, I mean, it can yeah, do so colors. Like, it's like yeah. when, when, when someone buys a pair of pants, and they already have holes cut in them. Rather than wearing the jeans out themselves, like, all right, cool, I'll, I'll, pay, I'll pay extra. But it's a premium price tag. I have those options. Have those options. Whereas... <laughs> I have those options. <laughs> whereas Xbox is what? The, the standard Xbox controller and the Pro controller. That's yeah, that's really it. You can't controller. really use anything else. You can't plug in a PlayStation controller. 
can't use a, a, a Wii Pro controller, you know, or a Switch yeah, Pro no. controller. Nobody That's wants it. To you're Wii controller you're anyway. locked in. Yeah, I forget the Wii one. <laughs> he said the Wii. But, so I was like, dude, no one can use this a Wii. Uh, fine, if you remember the Wii U, the Wii U controller, I I didn't hate that. I don't, man, no, not no, the, if not you the played screen anything one. besides Wii Sports, the controller sucked. Because the only people who wanted to play was Wii Sports. <sighs> yeah. Either way, fine, we digress. For, forget the Wii. Forget the Wii. Okay, give me. Okay, so obviously, okay, so we had you know the game library, yeah. and I can I can get a keyboard and mouse set for eight like eight bucks, you know, if I needed okay. something quick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's cheap, and I will get, I will agree with you on that. The controllers for consoles are astronomical. If I want to just get a regular mouse or even a keyboard, I will actually agree with you on that one. <clears throat> okay, what's another point then? Um, monitor tech is way better than TV tech, so I can have. You know, I'm, I'm running right now a 21 by 9 aspect ratio monitor, and when, when I'm playing first-person shooters, I just have a wider view um, than other people have. So on Warzone, I'm, I'm wrecking these console plebs because I can see more. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, if you pay attention, on certain games like what I have, uh, which one is it? I think on the, it might be on Warzone now. Um, you can actually adjust your field of view. Yeah, so which is which is rare there. for so, a console game. But yeah, I, so I, like, I can I do that. I actually need that. I can do that PC and setup. have a wider screen. Yeah, so I don't really need that if they're if they're starting to adapt PC stuff like that. Field of view is a great thing. <clears throat> it's absolutely great. Um, but like, if I can do it now in Warzone, I'm pretty sure they're going to start doing that because you can do it on I think Fortnite on PC as well, which means that you can now do it on Fortnite on console. So that's a couple games. games. You're getting, yeah, but that may be a couple but, of games, but it's getting into territory where it's. But you're, but you're locked to the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. You're, you're locked in. You can't change that. You can, you can, you can t take the field of view all the way out as, as you can, you know, so you can see as much as you can. But you're still limited to, you know, 16 by 9. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair and, enough. And if I wanted to go crazy, I can go 32 by 9 monitor. Yeah. Oh, they put it on Doom as well. That's right. Doom has an FOV slider as well. I forgot about that. And I don't, so, I'm not limited to one screen. I can have five and span it across all five at the same time. Why would you need five screens? Have you ever played a racing game with more than one screen? Like three? Yes. I have two screens on my PC, but I only use it for like Well, you need Well, you need an odd number so you have the center for the main game, and then you have your peripheral view. In racing games, it's a, it's a game changer. Yeah, that's just like from immersion, but now we're talking like you're spending all these hundreds of dollars just for a little but bit of But you don't have to. It's optional. Oh dear lord. Oh dear lord. Okay. What's your what's your what's your next amazingly re good reason that it's better than than console? Uh hardware cost. You can get you can get used hardware just about anywhere. Um you can get a, you can get a whole system from eBay. Slap in a video card and you're off you're off running for okay, less than the cost the of a used console. console. No a console, I pay one flat rate, period. Or I can even buy a used and get even less of a price, and it will always perform exactly as advertised. Because if I just buy parts from like eBay or whoever in the middle of nowhere, China, and then hopefully the the part doesn't well, fail, which well, I, maybe I mean you I don't really issue. You you can choose where you're buying it from, uh, and. You do you do your research before you purchase. Like you can get a, a Dell system, an HP system. Yeah, they're not fancy, but you, you get the one that has room for a video card, and you just slap in a video card, and you can just start playing. Yeah, but that's still going to cost you more and more. There's a lot of no, no, no. no. It, total, prices. it's less than the cost of a used console. Let's let's say two two hundred dollars is what I've seen for like PS4, Xbox One. You can get you can get a, a, a Dell system for like mid. Mid 2000 range, like or 2010 range, like 2014, 2015. Uh, a decent little i5 with like four gigs of RAM for like four gigs bucks. of RAM. What is this 95? I'm not, I'm not oh, what are you gonna run, dude? Oh my god! You buy four more gigs of RAM to oh, now you have to put eight. more money into the con. Oh, okay. yeah, but we're money. talking. We're talking the base systems like a hundred bucks or less sometimes. And then, yeah, but and then obviously you don't want to be playing these games that are running that. You want to be playing games that are newer and. You know with your friends so you're gonna need to put more money into that like I had to just to run simple games and stream and that like that's that's pretty ridiculous and Fortnite's a pretty old game now I couldn't run Fortnite and stream at the same time 
because yeah, of that. Yeah, streaming, streaming is a problem with one lower end hardware. I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you Streaming on console there. is probably the easiest thing ever, man. I hit a button, done. Camera, odd, everything. Anything I need is there. No hiccups, unless your internet cuts out, but that's different, so. Yeah. So if okay. you want if you want to stream and you you have and you're broke, okay, and you so have just enough here's to buy a system, I guess you'd have to go with console. Okay, so how about this portability? If I want to go play a game without my friend's house, am I gonna pack up an entire tower and, and ship it all over there just to do? It? Come on. I, I I used to have a I used to have a portable system I throw in my backpack, monitor included. That's so much work for just that. A console is what, it, But ports. it's the same thing with the console. Not you even have close, to bring... man, because you have the speakers, you have all the stuff that's hooked up to, like, your webcam, your microphone. You don't need to bring your webcam to your friend's but house. But I'm saying, no, you have to, like, disconnect all this random crap. The tower is obviously a lot bigger than a console. you got to fit this in this massive backpack that's going to be... Well, that thing is going to be ridiculously heavy. You're assuming it's bigger it than a console. Many I, far, you know, I have built a computer smaller than a console. Yeah, and what did it run? Tetris? No, it was it was pretty good. Um, this was, uh, I think, 2012 is when I built it. So you know, it was comparable uh, uh, stuff at the time. Um, it was compared to a console, or like a triple A game. I was playing. Um, I mean, I was playing brand new games on it. Borderlands 2 had just came out, and I was playing. Um, um, Mass Effect. I was playing yeah, how the highest look, detail on Mass console? Effect. Because you know, depending well, on what that well, processor is and graphics card, it could look like crap. There, like, because I brought the thing everywhere, people always checked it out. Like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then when they saw the detail in Mass Effect, they they were they were blown away at how small it was. Maybe in like another X amount of years, I'll believe you. But as of right now, I'm like, it's hard for me to be like, eh, okay, whatever. Because like I said, I can pay one one price. I'm done. Portability is always easy. Um, and, and right now, it's compared to PC, it's it's a bigger market. I have just as many access to games as you do. So well, you so don't have don't PC have exclusives. The PC exclusive library is bigger than all of the console library put together. Because that may be, but they don't indie sell. Indie developers. They're and, not. You know, there's not a big of an outreach. I feel like the the PC is very could do niche. You have to be this hardcore guy. And you got to be all this cool stuff. You got to know all this stuff. But a console gamer. I slap that some, some bitch right there in there, boom, I'm gone. Like, that's it. There's no, like, upgrades or this and that. The only thing I have to do is get an well, update, which every up, game has, so. Yeah, and you have to deal with the hard drive. And if you're if you're opening the hard drive, swapping it out in SSD, why don't why not build a PC? Oh, my God. Because there's no need for it. And now... Well, if you have to upgrade have your thing... Bigger solid states and, and, and hard drives and all sorts of... Like, there's no need now, because now the technology is so advanced... They are they are like going like solid state drive. However, However, it's not going to be big enough. My, my computer, I can have you know, I don't know how many, like several hard drives, like eight hard drives in my system. I can just add another. There we go. Oh, not even worth it. Okay. Well, anyway, we're running over past our time because I'm getting a little sure. too into it. But Steve, I want to thank you for coming on the episode. I uh, really enjoyed this. We'll have to do it again sometime. My pleasure. Yeah. All right. I have more points. Hey, uh, we'll, we'll see you on the next episode, everybody. <laughs> Take care. See you.